Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over the makeup palette that I talked about in my last video. Stila. Remember I said I bought it in December, end of December, and I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to put that on my eyes because I'm going to go out today and I'm just going to do like a simple makeup look. But I thought, well, I'll just try this out today. So I'm really excited because I haven't used it at all. So And my new makeup brushes. So um, I'm ready for you and we'll start right now. Hi guys. Okay, so are you ready? So this is the Stila that I bought, I think December 30th, 31st, and I haven't used it yet. So when you take it out of the box, which I already threw the box away, but when you take it out, it's a really heavy palette. Like, you know, it has some mm to it, which I like. And when you open it up, it looks like this. It still has the protective covering. And I think I just nipped one right there, but this is what it looks like. So the covering's still on, just put it here. And these are the colors. It has a nice mirror, as you see. Let's just swatch these colors and see what they're like on my hands first, okay? So the first one here, I'll put on my, I'll swatch it with my hand, my finger, and, hmm, okay. I don't know if you can see that. That was the first color. This is the second. Third. Not as um, dark as I thought they would be. Okay. Okay, that one's a bit darker. And this is the green. They're glittery. But I guess you can sort of see them. I don't know, it might be because my skin's a little darker um, on my hand. Maybe I should have done them inside. I'm going to the bottom row now. And once I put them on, I'll tell you what colors they are. But I'll start here. It's hard to swatch and hold and uh, all at the same time. Okay, yeah, that color I can hardly see. Oh yeah, okay, it's a nice dark one. Okay, so it's like gold. I don't know if you can see them. Three more to go. And I keep having to wipe my hands off as I do this. Okay, the color, the bottom row colors are coming in a bit more than the top. So it's good to watch to see what you've got and how it looks on your skin so okay well I guess you can see how they are a bit some are glowy glittery some are more matte so all right so I'm gonna use my new brushes that I got all the eye brushes which are here makeup by Mario you can get them at Sephora and I think I'm gonna go in with this shadow brush here. Okay. Let's see, what one should I use? Hmm. Actually. Actually. I'm going to go in with this one here. What is it called? Lights. Okay. Dab. Shake off. I need my. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this so you can see it right here. Dab here. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And then you want to do the crease like this in a windshield wiper motion. Kind of open up the eye. Can you see that? It's hard to film this as I'm almost falling off my chair, but so you want to keep doing that. Dip, do the other side, dab, dip and dab. Dab, 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 dab. And then 
windshield wiper motion in the crease of your eye. Like so. Back and forth, back and forth. And you're not just doing it once, like you're doing it quite a few times. Okay, it's like blending. Keep doing that until you have uh, as much part as you want. Same thing, dab, dab, dab. Windshield wiper in the crease, okay? These brushes are great. I love this brush, it's the first time using it. it feels so good. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with the smaller brush here. And so I use this one. And I think I'm gonna go with the one beside it. Let's see what it's called. Anything goes. Sure does. So we are going to dip. Okay. And then you're gonna go in the corner here. Dab. I need to look at a mirror here. Let me do this. Dab, dab, dab. Anything goes. Same on the other side. I'm going out to do errands today, so I'm not gonna look like a glam queen or anything, but I gotta do my eyes, so. So far, this is how it looks like. Not bad. And then, um, you wanna go in and get like a highlighting color like a lighter color and go right underneath your brow so I'm going to try this one right here see what it's called let me get my glasses y'all okay. this is what happens when you're older it's called sunset all right all right sunset let's go so we're dipping into sunset weird name for and excess off and then you're gonna go underneath your brow just to highlight it a bit can you see that guys okay so it's not Oh, glam look, it's just something I can use when I go when I go do errands. I mean, who's gonna be looking at you when you go do errands? Nobody. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna add a bit of skin here. You wanna blend everything in. Okay. You don't wanna look like a clown. Trust me, yesterday I was practicing trying to do a, a red eye and I actually scared my daughter. She screamed when she saw me. I'm like, girl, not that bad, is it? Okay, so do you see how it looks now? Maybe a little bit. Sometimes if I want this part of my eye to look a little bit more Popping. I'll just spray like a, a matte finish onto my brush like this. This is what you normally spray on your face when you're done with your makeup, but just so it picks up the product more. And I'll go in dipping the same thing here. And then I'll see how you can see it a bit more. And I'll just do that. So yeah, this is a simple look. I don't know if you can even see this right. The lighting is good, it's just maybe my camera. And then what I usually do is, sorry, what about this part? My under eye, my liner, just go in here. I don't have a water liner and this one, if I had a gel or 
more of a liquid liner. I put it on that and on the top of that line right there, but here I'll just do it right below. Like at night when you go out and you're all dressed up and stuff, do that. And I also would go in like and do a wing, but I'm not doing that today. I'm not great at them yet, but I've, I've been practicing, so um, we'll have to do a video on that sometime. But it doesn't look too bad. What do you think so far? And then after you got your um, eyeshadow on and you've done your under the eye eyeliner, and some people do the wing, like I said, um, you want to go in and do mascara. I've used this mascara, I have a bunch of them because they're so easy for me to use and then I, I think it's just like a Maybelline, okay. And Or I have some more expensive stuff, but um, this one, Estee Lauder, the applicator is so long like I almost poked myself in the eye. So I'm just going to stay with what I know, just a great lash, simple. I need a bigger mirror for this. Okay, so we just, you put this on, you just rub back and forth a little bit like this. And I probably should have took the excess off, but you want to kind of, oh, okay, I'll have to fix that. You want to kind of move your apple hair to the middle, like kind of your eyelashes that way. Yeah, I gotta take that other thing off. Of course this happens on camera. Let me do the other side. Okay. Well this side I've kind of moved the lashes to the middle again. This way towards my nose. Okay, and sometimes I um, use an eyelash curler, but I don't know, lately I haven't been I haven't needed to, so once I do my lashes, I always do this. Get the excess off onto a Kleenex because if I don't, my lashes are it doesn't look like it, but they're pretty long um, for me and then if I blink, they'll go that will happen down there. So okay, let me go run and get my make remover thing, be right back. Okay, so my make remover I use Marcelli and it has like a pump thing where you just pump it and the and the liquid comes up here, the remover. And then I have a little Q-tip. Okay, and I, so I put my Q-tip in the remover. Okay, and then this huge dot right here, just go over it like this, like I'm gonna have to rub it back and forth, and I'm gonna have to redo my eye a bit. Okay, so you don't have to go rubbing, or you can even let it dry, but since I'm in a hurry, you can let it dry and then it off but since I'm going somewhere fast as soon as I'm done this video there see it's off here it is on the thing easy peasy so then let's go back see where I need to do it see what I need to do all right okay yeah which is unfortunate because I already, you know, I already put my mascara on. But I can work it. I can work it. Okay. Make sure everything's... Alright. It's almost fixed. Almost. All right, you never know, okay? There we go. What do you think? 
Um, I think it's good for just like a day. Just going out to do errands, you know, and um, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe the lighting isn't good. I'm just still learning about lighting angles and all of that. So um, anyway, when you're done your face, you just, uh, I usually do like a spray a matte finish on. So this is a matte finish that you can get at your drugstore for makeup and it just sets everything. So it smells kind of medicine-y, I don't know. Some of them smell really good, like coconut and stuff. I don't have that one, so. Anyway, that is how I do my eyes. And um, I think it looks pretty good. Okay. Um, some people, when they do the setting um, spray, they might go in with their blender and just kind of set stuff. Make sure it stays on. I don't know. But, um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Sometimes um, I do go in with little, little uh, other glittery things like this. Like I'll use this one a lot. When I'm going out at night, I'll put like, after this is all done and I before I sprayed, I'll dip my finger into this one right here. And then I'll just stick that in the middle and it just makes your eyes pop a bit more. But since I'm just going to the grocery store, I don't need to pop for that. Okay, so that was it. And um, next time I'll probably be showing you these that I bought. Still Stila. I bought them the same time as I bought this palette here, but I haven't used these yet. And these are like a, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Well, they're cute, but they're like for your eye, eye shadow. And it's more of a liquid eyeshadow, which I've never used. So, and they're glittery and all, and they're different colors. And Stila makes a lot of good products. I really like their products. So maybe we'll go over these next time. Aren't they cute? I got these three little babies. Anyway, um, that's it for the eyes today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I think it looks pretty good for just going out for um, doing errands. So yeah. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye.